if you don't know, FEMA has an emergency test scheduled for tomorrow, October the 4th, at 2.20 Pacific Standard Time. To everybody's phone, uh, smartphone, TV, um, radio, and anywhere you get those signals um, from the emergency alert system, emergency alert broadcasting system, tomorrow at 2.20, it's going down. I think it'll be wise for all of us to um, be healthy, maybe fast, drink a lot of water today. But let me also add this. A lot of times, a lot of these events are scheduled and they look so ominous and all these things look like they're going to happen and, and the whole world's freaking out. Oh, this is going to be the zombie apocalypse. It's going to turn everyone. A lot of times they do this stuff to make us make these videos and look like conspiracy theorists and then when nothing happens, when and if nothing happens, um, then that person's no longer really found trustworthy. So I uh, just got to cover all your bases here, you know, and just don't listen to what any person says. We know that we got to just got to cover our bases here. And this is important to to actually regurgitate every single time we make a video, you know, no, we're not setting a date. No, we're not saying something has happened, it, but it's good to be aware, you know, heavy metals in your body. Um, you want to you want to do a heavy metal detox? Do some spirulina and chlorella in a lot of water. I mean, drink gallon of water um, and just flush out your system. Flush out your system. Take your vitamins and fast. Maybe have like a really good juice or something um, so you're feeling well. Just in case, um, you know, tomorrow. Uh, there's maybe something could happen, you know, maybe the, the emergency alert test could accidentally, you know, trigger, uh, something, you know, who knows or nothing could happen. It's always good just to be aware and prepared. I mean, look, they, they put it out there. They say, look, it's October the 4th at 2 20 PM Pacific time. And this is the FEMA test. So, okay. Now should we be prepared? What do we, they don't say nothing. They don't say anything. They just say, that's it. That's their, here's your test. And then <laughs> they they put it into our hands to oh they're gonna make videos and then now we can connect all the dates and there's so much that goes into this right this is during during the feast of tabernacles and then the, all the stuff that's going on in Israel and all the stuff that's going on in the world summits and all the stuff that's going around the world um, a lot of stuff is converging right now to a certain point where it looks like okay well maybe it's possible that this emergency alert test system is going to uh, be some sort of vibrational frequency. Isn't everything a vibration? Everything, you know, your phone vibrate, vibration, music is a vibration, light is a vibration, um, vibrations and cymatic patterns, the whole Schumann resonance thing, <clears throat> vibrations um, uh, are, are used for healing. If they're used for healing, what else do you think they can be used for? I mean, this is not a conspiracy that they use ultrasonic sounds um, as weapons of warfare. And I mean, I even have in my garage a thing that's plugged in that is a high pitch like uh, noise frequency. My dog can't hear it, but it scares rats away. Um, it, they, you've seen all those videos where the water is just going crazy. Um, uh, you know, we've all, we have all these weird videos of harp and it's interesting. It's called harp, right? And all these strange noises in the sky. Um, so FEMA, we've heard all the rumors and conspiracy theories about the FEMA camps, um, and the jab, uh, the snake bite and just everything that's going on. So it would be wise for us to just be prepared, um, on that day. And every day, and every day, always be prepared, you know? Just want to share this information because uh, I'm feeling tired, dog. I'm feeling tired today and funky. I don't feel good. Um, we've had a we had a death in the, in the family um, recently. And I just think it would be good for everyone just to be healthy and loving one another and... I'm not, look, I'm a hypocrite. I'm not the healthiest person of all. I mean, I'm, I'm in construction. I'll go in and get fast food or just junk food. But a lot of times I'll try my best to stay healthy. But I know, I know my, I feel it when I'm just not feeling right, you know? And I'm not feeling right. 
So I'm just gonna go drink a lot of water, get some sunlight, go touch grass, literally touch grass. That always helps. Put my bare feet in grass, sunlight on my chest, drink a lot of water. Um, spirulina and chlorella really seems to help me. Um, and a really good juice, full on gnarly juice. I get one that's called the Vampiro. They got it at the Latino market, Vampiro for like $4. You get this giant juice drink with beets, celery, carrots, kale, um, uh, apples, orange juice, lime. It is so good and you feel so good after. And then I put it over ice with honey. Ooh, and then you feel great. It's called the Vampiro. It's got, cause it's got beets in it. And then, uh, just be careful when you eat beets because yes, everything will turn red afterwards. All right, so anyways, love one another, be the example in the world, set the example right, be that change you wanna see in the world, love one another, Bring help bring other people into the fold, make them wanna come in to the fold, you know? There's people outside the fold looking in, we should go check them out on this show, come on in here, it's great, you know, the 99, we're in here, come on. Jesus went out for you, we're coming out for you too. You know, be that light, that shining example. All the things Jesus says, all the things Jesus says, let's do it, all right? Love one another. And a correction, it says 2.20 Eastern time um, on the FEMA website for 30 minutes, approximately 30 minutes. So with um, every phone that's within range of a cell tower, a participating cell tower, they say. With a backup testing date of October 11th. Interesting there is a backup testing date. See, this kind of plays into what I was saying before about the, oh, look, nothing's going to happen. Oh, but what about the October 4th backup test date? I'm like, what about look over here too? Um, okay, come on, guys. We're all, we're spooky. We're spooky, spooky, spooky. We don't care. We're covered in blood of Christ. We're good. We just want to be ready. You know? <sighs> come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. What kind of world are we living in? Seriously. <sighs> Think about the things that's going on in this world right now. And how blessed we are to even just to have your whole, your, your family together. <sighs> I mean, it, I, if you don't, oh, my heart goes out to you. And they're just... They're, I was thinking specifically of all the trafficking that go trafficking that goes on in the world. I can't imagine. Ugh. I see videos of just like kids sedated, being handed off, and it's all over Twitter. All you do is if you go on Twitter or X, it's just nonstop doom, doom, doom. And that Elon Musk is an instigator. That guy's an instigator, always talking about this whole, oh, the fall of the Roman Empire meme. And what do you think the Vatican is, okay? Why do you think this meme is coming around right now, this whole fall of the Roman Empire thing? There's a verse in the Revelation that says, you know, one that is and isn't and will be again along those lines. It's the Vatican. And the, the, who do you think owns Washington, D.C.? The Vatican, right? All the gold in the world. All the gold, Washington, D.C. and Vatican, they got it all. And they got those two obelisks right there in the middle. They don't have it all. They don't have all the gold, but they got a lot. They sure do have a lot of it. Google who has the most gold in the world. Interesting. Oh, Vatican, United States. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Who knows? The USA definitely has the most gold, but... Something about the Vatican. They they, they recently made a, a post like to, and people have said, whenever the Vatican says to transfer all the gold, uh, something's going to happen. And they, that was the whole big news for a while. The Vatican's doing something with all their gold. And then we have the news in China with quantum computing and then, you know, backing by gold. The, there's so much that goes into silver and gold and fungible proxy. The... It's what a world, huh? What a world. Walking around with money, with symbols all over it. Faces of men who aren't Jesus Christ. Every month should be named after Jesus. Every day of the week should be named after Jesus.